Bon tate le bon me. Allow me to share what is in my heart for the year 2020. 2019 to some of us it has been a bad year. Some of us have been disappointed. We've been hurt. We lost our loved ones. Huh? But I want to assure you somebody has to die before the new one could come. Huri Hutle Elia Hutsokala Elisha Huri Hutle Joshua Mushutla Melorash. That's a principle of the kingdom of God. When there is change of leadership, about three weeks ago, we heard about the passing on of one of the powerful men of God, Renard Bonke. And it said something to my heart, change of leadership. And I'm about to enter into a new relationship and a better one. I also give you a if somebody says to you, the silver cup is broken. Be excited and be happy. God is about to do new thing in my life. Metsi Amacha Atlama Bulelo Sibaka ki Metsi Akhal. Metsi Akhal Atlama Fete Hu Kene Metsi Amacha. Right there, you have the message for 2020. I'm going to read from the book of life. By the way, I'm a believer of the Bible. I believe in the whole book of life from Genesis to Revelations. I believe that the Bible is anointed by the Spirit. It has been breathed upon by the Spirit of the Lord for instruction, for equipping, for energizing us for the work of the ministry. I'm reading from the book of First Samuel, chapter number 16, verse 1 until verse number 3. Mansui Ana Abeweke Moya Wamudimo Pirunia. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul? Since I have rejected him as a king over Israel, fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, Take your heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Mujimu ha sono lo fate palo yalin sui la hai di pelun salona ka ufela ba mamete zatin lena la kajeno kita hulu na kamu laeta o ki du melanguri. Your heart is going to be revived. You are going to be healed in your emotions. But above all, your mind is going to be renewed. There's going to be transformation in your life. 
ki mutu jolo ka batho ba ba ke na le dintotse o ke di ratang ke na le dintotse o ke sa di rating i'm sure lo wena o ka re nta tempostola welcome to the club le nna ke na le dintotse o ke di ratang ke na le dintotse o ke sa di rating ha ha rae mo ya dintotse o ke sa di rating bo phelo mbaka ke o senyetsa nako ke motho ye mo ke batle mo tsenyetsa nako because i hate i keep battling up you like a fool and fool you go moshe this card now i'm going to moshe this amis card ha hulu ha ke bona hore ke tlama ke e mole mara o yeme ka pela ka one cities a ke tsebe ba ba kaya nga se bang ga ga bang lalela bang ati ba bo mpostoli a go nanto nga e fool jo ngo muntu go thi o driver yo emkotweni o mmono re e ka ga tsebe mo ayanti aba fitla fela ka kolo ya ha a ya makapela kolo ya ha o ka go mo shapela go tya ho o po 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 o mmono re e ka ga di keng o tu tenga re ngi a itse nya ya zile ento le ha holo wa tseba ire 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 re tsama ya ka o fela tsile se a drive a song ke we are on our way we are rushing to our businesses and then he na ba decide a fela hore a o overtake e ga ka ta o overtake a ba ke na di parking a o kwalwe o tenga re ngia itse ba taba ye unta tem postola e ka go ka mo sututsa ma go mmone hore e ka re o go betse motheno ha tsebe mo a yante re be re fitla robotong a re fitla robotong tsama ya motho modimo a ba ye I feel like God doesn't like it when he says to you move on you don't want to move on you are still hanging to the past and God is saying to you to me move on how long are you going to mourn for this man there is a woman here you are crying every day crying for somebody instead of moving on i love him and him who was here 10 years ago 10 years ago saka dile le lapa le letse sana le mosadi mosha sana le bana when are you still mourning <laughs> teng mutharang ke utlwa ta ba ina ntate mposta o mametse hona jwale you are still hanging on the past and god is saying to you how long are you going to mourn for so ha how long listen saule ke morena wa israel saul sinned against god Saul missed the will of god for his life he was sinning i mean every year Saul was disrupting the will of god for his life interfering with the will of god and mudimu decided to you know what i don't want this man anymore to be the king of Israel Saul is not dead Saul e haya shwa onza phila Samuel is mourning you are mourning for somebody who's not dead now the reason he's mourning it's because I invested in you Saul. I'm the one who anointed you. I'm the one who knew about the will of God for your life before when who got seba go morena wa Israel and I knew about it. Now it's so painful. It's so painful to Samuel to realize ore this man is, has missed the will of God. Huntlentle Samuel you are proud. You are proud. 
حنت انت هقول لسه هقول قول لي الانفستمنت يا نيكي مرات جوا كاجينو درايفر كولو كي كولو يا كاكي مركتين يا اكيد سي بيبي وتي موتان اي كان ايدنتيفاي وذ ذات مانينو كي مخوريسي تي كي مكنسه سكولو مديمور هي ليت هيم جو وي نو بيزي يور موني فور يور انفستمنت يور تايم Oh, spend it. Your emotions. Oh, just spend it. Somebody has hurt you. Somebody has disappointed you in 2019. Huh? Somebody who is the bush. And Mutimuri, listen. If you want to enjoy 2020, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Stop crying. Don't show your enemies your tears. Now, I I can say by the way, I'm a human being. I know who have missed the will of God. But you know what? I want to convince myself who now is the will of God. Like say see William D. Some of us here, we are hanging. Why it's a rich king in toil lela? Ulela Ulela Mutas Nan Tabalien Ulela Mutu Yom Tima Mufuna Lizzi. You want to convince yourself or no? Uta Luca, Uta. Oh no, Luca, man. Move on. Listen, you know, I, I made a very simple example. And please hear me well. And I want to repeat this. I realized to her, but to buy rapela, but to made but about rapela, how about to be when it's come when it comes to reality, double pillow, we are failing to live successful life. Re nka nthwemo lengwe re ipata ka tlasa thapelo la o sa hloka ha le ge e rapelle o batla go e rapelle How long are you going to mourn for Saul I have rejected him Don't convince yourself who oh, it's a will of God o bona ha ntlo ga se thatwa motho o tseba ha ntle ho go motho yena o na le background o na le madrogo a mangata ntseng a wa tosa o batlo i convince ho re a tla tswa a mangwe kene we Botswana will never be the same again Join Apostle Simon Mukwena at plot number 1081 in Tlokweng Industrial, Gaboroni, Botswana for a life-changing service every Sunday at 10 a.m. sharp. For more information, call 76244247. Invite your friends and families. Come one, come all. I stretch my hands towards you. I pray and I release God's blessings upon your life. because you are my prayer partner i groan and i travail in the spirit on your behalf let me take this glorious opportunity and thank you for your support i know you pray for me every day and thank you also for your financial support i pray that philippians chapter number 4 verse number 19 may be fulfilled upon your life paul says My God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory not according to your strength but according to his riches I pray for the heap of blessings upon your life in 2019 Equip yourself and your family. Apostle has released teaching tools, books, and DVDs to empower you and your family against forces of darkness. You will receive a spiritual mega pack and ministry tools. Apostle has released teaching tools. These are tools for weapons for warriors and your anointing oil for yourself and your home. 
you need God's covering and protection, call the number 083-449-1858 because your blessings are released. For God's covering with His apostolic and prophetic anointing for your protection and breakthrough against forces of darkness, request your Mega Pack. Log into Apostle Simon McQuenna's app. Mami Lang, this is so important. Mujimu le kima lasi. Ore, has saule akawutwa kiatava. The devil is frightening you right now. Ore, without this person, you are not going to make it. Adna mujimu hau akashule ako upolo sana. Are you hanging to this thing? Oh, we want to go on. Your God is alive. He will never leave you. He will never disappoint you. Eh? Trust in the Lord so that you may be established. Rapela mutimwa ha. Mutimwa le ke tlabane wena ho fihla diphelo tso ntsa le fatsa. O ke mutimwa tla tsalena ka la ho ole. Tla tsalena ka la ho ole. Bon, your horn is drained. Your horn is empty. What happened to the oil? So. You are drained emotionally. You are depressed on a journey because of soul. There is no joy in your life. Money is gone. O patela di kolo to patela di credit card it is in sahau. Mudimo de ke rolo na kashen. This is a very practical message. Nka ka to ka jeno ka bo phela ba ha. And now ba tla tswela pelo ke na di kolo to nka ba ka la motho ya ntsang khotso ya haudi tsa tsebeletsa. Do you want to continue like that? Take a stand. Your God is alive. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He cares for you. Over 2020 is your year. But how am I going to bless you? Oh, but I put you to But I'm not What I going to do about your future? Stop mourning. don't worry. Resist the spirit of Jezebel. Hanela moya wa Jezebel. control. Walk in the will of God for your life. Nobody is supposed to control you. Free yourself from control. Don't allow any spirit to control you. Tafita osalite. Tafita osalite. But tafita akeke atla bang osatuheli saul. God is not going to bless you. Eba onto hengi le with the past failures. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And God is going to do a new thing in your life. God is going to do a new thing in your life. God is going to bring new relationships in your life. God is going to bring new cars in your life. God is going to bring new furniture into your life. Let it go. Now, what's the problem? That 
That's a spirit. That's a spirit of control. And stand against that spirit. Nobody's going to kill you. God is going to be your shield. He's going to be your Jehovah Nisi. He's going to fight your battles. God will fight your battles. Nobody's going to kill you. You are not going to die in 2020. Provided you're going to let it go, God will protect you. God is taking you to another territory. I'm blessing you right now. Listen to me. I believe in partnerships. I encourage partnerships. Churches must partner with politicians. Politicians must partner with traditional leaders. Huh? We cannot build a strong nation. We need politicians. We need traditional leaders. We need the civil society. We need professionals. Why get your chin? I believe, I believe we need psychologists. But you know what? There's somebody I, you know, I'm still going through counseling. You know, I'm, I'm left with the seven steps and then I will fulfill my, my what, whatever. Listen to me. As much as I believe in psychologists, it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do with your life. It's up to you what you want to do Until when you take a decision, you will be able well, enough is enough. Now, go, go, go and study the Bible. In the book of Samuel, chapter 16, verse number 1. Mudimure, let it go. Stop mourning. Now go. Your deliverance, your how, from depression, depends on you. Utla, do you know the PLC? Utla, rebari kenale bipolar? depression until you take your stand enough is enough I'm stopping to mourn from this day forth I'm moving forward with my life it's up to you it's up to you but I'll do it's up to you but I believe in you I believe you can take a decision tonight. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. You are five seconds away from your deliverance. Now I'm telling you, now I want you to take a decision right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, to what and decide not anymore I'm, I'm not gonna cry anymore I'm not gonna be depressed anymore I cannot not be PLC anymore it's a depression I'm gonna be healed I want to pray for you right now huh? Huh? my deliverance my healing depends on me and I derive fulfillment in serving God and he has never disappointed me I'm a healthy old man you know why because I serve the Lord every day I deliver people I prophesy to people I speak words of encouragement to people and God delivers his people and I want you to know because you know we are rumor I'm going to anoint you. God is going to set you free. God is going to fulfill your heart. Joy unspeakable, full of glory is going to overflow in your heart. I 
I'm going to prophesy upon my life. I want you to prophesy upon me, your life. I am free. I am free. I am free from witchcraft. I am free from bipolar. Tell the devil, bring back my life. You are a thief. You are a killer. And you are not going to kill me. I'm going to survive in 2020. And I'm going to make it. God has chosen me. Hallelujah. 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 There is David in your life. There is deliverance in your life. There is prosperity for your life. Don't cry eh? for your past. Don't hang on your past. Move on. Let it go. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I want to pray for you. I want to anoint everybody at Lindingwa. Uritafita, you have anointed my head with oil. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. In 2020, you are going to be followed by the goodness of the Lord. In 2020, you are going to be followed by prosperity. In 2020, I see, I see plenty in 2020. I see joy in 2020. Spirit of suicide is leaving you. You are not going to die in 2020. You, you, anybody who's connected to you is going to be free. Your children are going to be free. Bad habits are going to be broken in your life. Bad habits are going away. I want somebody again. I want to be God's prophet. I want to be God's spokesperson. I want to represent God in Botswana. You are my spiritual father. I believe God has sent you in Botswana to minister to me. I submit under your anointing. I submit to you, men of God. Serve me. Minister to me with this power from above. It's time for Supernatural Testimonies. I heard that, yes, you're also multi-talented, ne? Yes. A gift, uh, not gift, guest relations officer guest at relations. Grand Area. Yes. You are a paramedic. Qualified paramedic. Qualified paramedic. You are a social worker, a qualified one that is. Who majored in child development. Oh my goodness. You are a chef. Yes. And you're a radio personality. Yes. <laughs> so many things at once. I know. It's How? crazy. How? They, they, you know, they, they are far apart, mm. but they all for serving people. They all fall under serving people. They are all related under customer service. Um, I went through a certain experience when I was growing up and I'm going to feel free to share this with you um, because I feel welcome. Um, I got raped when I was at school. Don't get, don't get emotional because I'm not emotional about it. So what happened was I thought I've been through such a horrible experience but I don't want to go to somebody to tell me how to feel. And besides, it's going to be costly to go and see a psychiatrist. So why not empower myself? So I first started by going to become a paramedic by helping people. My passion is helping people. And then I had to say, I'm a paramedic, but I need to understand the theoretical part, the emotional part. Hence, it goes with my experience, goes along with being raped. So I'm going to help people get to the ambulance and I'm going to cancel myself. Mm. That's how I decided to become a paramedic and a social worker. I've got a passion for food. I love cooking. I love people that eat my food. I love hosting and I love entertaining. So why not um, become a chef? The skill was already there. I just needed to get it into documentation. And express yourself. Yes. As for the radio, my father, I'm a daughter of Michael Klink. He's the owner and founder of E Botswana in Botswana. He's a talent, he was a talented man. Um, so I think Yabo Radio Hell is just something that just came within his genes. It just happened. I was just called by Dumefem to say, look, 
um, we've been following you on social media. We love your personality. We love your post. You're a people's person. You talk about relationships. So why not come into the show? And I decided to call myself Mama Thick Legs because of my thick legs. <laughs> wow. Um, you know what the apostle always emphasizes? That your gift will open doors for you. There's an example yes. of a lady whom her gift and her passion for people has opened the door for him. She, for her. She, she got headhunted. Yeah. That is Ray. Headhunted by a well-known radio station. Correct. So, what happens to Mama Putlex? Why, why did Mama you decide Thicklex. to have... Okay, the show is called After Dark. It's every Wednesday from 10 to midnight. The whole focus of the relationship, look, not everybody is able to talk about what happens in the bedroom, right? But Ghana, if you don't have a happy bedroom, you can't have a happy home. Do you agree? If you're not happy in the bedroom, you can't be happy with your finances and other things. So I thought, okay, I'm going to have a show that's called After Dark. So it's only elders that will normally call into the show. And we talk about different things. That's how I got to meet um, Apostle Simon Mukwena at our hotel at Grand Diarrhea. And I remember he used to come with, I can see their faces. They used to come and I used to think, oh my gosh, who are these people? Yeah, because they came wearing a hat. So, <laughs> anyway, um, so I think every time they came, I gave them attention and I wanted to know what was going on. And then um, that day one day we sat for some time and I told him that I had a show called Duma FM. And I was like, well, I'd like to come to your show. And I said, well, really? And yeah, they came, Lin Tate Musigidi. Yes, they, he came with Tate Musigidi. And the show, yo, the show was exciting and people were calling in. And ever since that they left, I've got pastors calling me. I had a pastor last week, I had a pastor the week before. Yeah. Listen to this your gift didn't on, only open doors for you, but the apostle's gift is also opening other doors of for course. you. Let's of give course. that a round of applause. Yeah. Listen, wait till we had your show for the first time. I think we were still here in church, yeah. driving home at that time. Hey, and you were asking our father very uncomfortable <laughs> questions, you know. And he was flowing. He was literally yeah. flowing. But Runa, we were like, hey, but this lady, how can she ask the apostle such questions? Yeah. So how do you feel having such a powerful man of God as a guest and co-hosting for you at that period? What impact has it made in your life and in the lives of your followers? Because I'm sure you do get a response. There is a feedback, whether it's positive, whether it's negative. Please share it with us. Okay, I'll start with your first question. Ndate Apostle Simon Mukwena is a very chilled out pastor. He's very laid back. He's got such a high anointing that la how some weedsy. You're just relaxed. You're not afraid to tell him anything that's going on in your life. When I met him, the connection was there. That's our father. That's our father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was your second question? What, okay. Um, in terms of him coming into my show, my followers have increased. Like I'm saying, after Dark was a show, it was a youth show. He opened doors for me because you would never think a pastor would come into a show and all that other stuff because it's a sensitive subject. So him just coming into my show gave me such huge status. Yes. And the feedback from your followers, what are they saying? Let us know. Um, on the 25th, I had a show where people were calling into my show and I'm just asking them, what has After Dark um, done for you? It's changed people's lives in the bedrooms. Like I've said, if you're a married couple, there's no way it's going to be nice out there. Because it ha you guys have to have chemistry. Like Ntata was saying, you guys have to have chemistry, you guys have to go on dates, you have to open the lines of communication. And if all those things are there, they cannot be happy marriages and happy relationships. Wow, wow, that is powerful. Um, please tell, tell the, the congregants the name of your show, what time it starts, so that they can also tune in. They may market yourself. There's an opportunity, there's a platform. Yes, my name is Lissa Hobail. I have a show every Wednesday on Duma FM, More Talk, More Music, from 10 o'clock to midnight. Yes. Talking? Relationships? Talking relationships, talking marriages. The whole show is centered around relationships. I had a caller once who called me and said, Mama Thick Legs, I'm, 
I have a segment called Ojewa King, Ojewa King, because we give a topic and then a general topic and people call in. The second segment, somebody will literally call me and say, look, I went to go and play pool with my friends, but my wife doesn't want to open the door. Like this is serious on radio. So yeah, it saves a lot of relationships. Wow, that is so powerful, hey? Thank you so um, much. I think this, actually I don't think, I know yeah. that this is not a coincidence. Because as we speak, the apostle is writing a book that says, um, Mending Broken Nets. Yeah. And it focuses on relationships. By saying relationships, we are not only saying to the romantic relationship yeah. between a man and a woman, but it talks about your business relationship, your relationship with your siblings, your friends, your neighbors, yeah. your colleagues, you name them. Yeah. So, you are hosting a show that speaks about relationship. Yeah. The man of God is writing a book that mends broken nets, yeah. mending broken relationships as well. It's not a coincidence you are colliding with your death. Important. Ever since I started coming to this church, I'll explain something quickly. I work for Juma FM and I work for Grand Area. And this is the same boss. It's owned by the Jamalis. So when I went to the Grand Area, I wasn't aware but it's the same boss, Koduma. So God was aligning me. And I kept on saying to my mother, Why is it God is doing wonders, God is doing wonders. So I started seeing the apostle come into the church. I've always, I went through such a terrible ordeal for the past five, um, let's say two to three years. I was in a horrible relationship. And the reason why I got connected to Ntate Khape was his message here December. And he just preached it right now to say, you cannot put your degree in the wardrobe because of a man. You understand? You cannot throw your life away because of a man. So I was in such a toxic relationship so I said to him that you know what you came into my life at the right time because I was letting go of all that so he really really empowered I ended up getting an apartment yeah the Jamalis in Lugwing, just two streets behind. The apartments at Jamali, the universal estate apartments. So they start from 10,000 or 6,000. And the lady from Universal called me last week, Monday, actually the choose. And when I put it out there, I put my mind, body, and soul into what the pastor was saying. There was no resistance. On Tuesday, I got a call from an employee of Universal, um, Universal Properties saying, Ms. Bile, there's only one flat for Universal Estate, yeah, 2.5. And it's not easy to get an apartment yeah, for Universal Estate for 2.5. People wait years. I'm sure Mozana Waizo, when we're talking Universal Estate, we're talking what? And Grand Area, I'm about to finish, is opening a mini Sun City hotel in Lugwing. So ever since I've met the Apostle, God has, has been positioning me. I am going to be promoted to the hotel in Lugwing. Oh my goodness, it's her gift. It's her gift. It's opening doors for her. You know what? Yeah. We are so happy for you. I'm so happy. We celebrate you. Yes. We thank you for your presence in this thank church. Thank you so much. That is such a powerful man. When he talks, he talks about so many things. There's so many revelations that he talks about. But he talks about, he talked about it earlier on. Abuaka, Mwawa, the orphan, right? Yes. Rnalo ko itzela ko tlaase. Rnalo ko letela batsadi barona. Banna barabat lang kor bar nyale bar dubaka ke bar dubaka ke. That doesn't work. You need to believe in yourself. And that they talked about stirring up your gifts. I want to explain something to you guys. I'm a four in one social worker i'm a chef i'm a paramedic i'm a radio personnel you can have all those qualifications ne? like i've had them but they can only start working once you position yourself with a powerful man of god once you go to a place you meet people who will accept you for who you are who will not judge you and who will revive your soul and your spirit Yes. <laughs> yeah. So learning about the spirit of orphanages is what stood out for you yesterday. 
It really did. It really did. Because I think a lot of the times, like I said, we, we really look down at ourselves. Like that they were saying, we are dynamites. You know, we carried gift the Aruna Mokorona, right? But because you're in a failed relationship or a failed marriage, or people don't like you at work, or people don't like you at the office, you stop believing in yourself, right? Yeah, so that hit home for me. Yeah, because we are powerful people. I'm a powerful woman crafted in Christ. Wow. Yeah. In the morning, I lay my request unto you and wait expectantly. Don't panic. I'm with you. There's no need to fear, for I am your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady, keep a firm grip on you. Remember the Lord your God, because it is Him who gives you the power to prosper. God has given each of us the heart of a champion, far beyond the field of athletic endeavor. The world is waiting for the genius in you to be unleashed so it can be blessed by it. You have the capacity, you have the potential, you are a winner. You are a victor. 20 Rules of a Champion. The Apostle has written this book to touch your heart and to transform your mind. God has revealed to Apostle Samuel Mukwena to speak about and dwell on the teachings of calling, connection, and commitment. This book will show you how to be in alignment with yourself, your calling, people around you, and most importantly, your creator. Get yourself a copy of the three C's and be spiritually aligned.